Ever needed to delete your products in your e-commerce store with WooCommerce? Well, that's easy if you have a few hundred products. But what if you have thousands of products? Maybe you'd like to delete them all and re-upload a new product CSV for whatever reason. Right now, I'm showing you the fastest and simplest way of deleting products in bulk from your WooCommerce store. So as with most things, there are various methods to most things, especially in WordPress. And there are indeed multiple ways to remove products in bulk. Well, sort of. If you use WooCommerce, you could select all your products on that page and simply delete them all. And you can of course select screen options at the top and increase the number of products to show on that page, but only till about 100 before the database bugs down and either has a tediously slow result or stops responding altogether. And 100 products is if you have good hosting. Bad hosting won't even get you to 50. But what about thousands of products? If you or your customer runs a drop shipping store, or you really do have thousands of products on your site, you'll from time to time or possibly even on a weekly or monthly basis need to clear your products and re-upload a CSV file. Now, when using WP All Import, this can be maintained fairly efficiently without touching your database manually and just overriding your products with new information. I have a video about WP All Import which I'll link in the description if you wanted to check that out. But even so, it does happen that you would like to quickly and efficiently clear your products all together and this is what the video is all about, so let's jump right in. Firstly, you'll need to be able to access your MySQL database. I would say I recommend you take a backup of your database, but I absolutely urge you to do that because databases are very sensitive, so please be careful. Most hosting providers will have a backup facility to make it easier to do backups, especially with cPanel. In case you do have to do it manually, I'm going to quickly just browse over the manual method of backing up your database. So once in your database, click export. We'll leave these settings to their defaults and click go. You'll now see that the file has been downloaded. If you'd like to restore this backup, you would simply create a new empty database and remember to keep the database name the same. So once in your new database, now in PHP My Admin, you'll see the database there. Please remember to keep the name the same. Next click import, choose the file and select the file. You can leave all these settings on default and click go. Okay, and you'll see the import has been successfully finished. And that's it for backing up and restoring your database. This process takes a few minutes, but it is insurance well spent. And if in the unlikely event that you do have to restore your database after this method, you'll also just need to amend the database name, username, password, and server to your wpconfig.php file. When you created the new database before importing its contents, you must likely use different credentials. So be sure to amend the new ones in your wpconfig file. If you are not sure how to do this, or if it seemed like a worthwhile video to make, leave a comment and I'll revisit the whole method in a separate video in more detail. Even so, if you are having trouble, leave a comment and I'll assist you with this. Now with the insurance portion of the video out of the way, let's get those products deleted. From PHP My Admin, expand your database and look for the WP Posts entry. Now click on the SQL tab I've left a link in the description where you can find the code to copy. Once you've copied the code from my website, if there is a line of code in there, clear the screen and copy in the script from my website. Next click on the go button and let it run the script. The more products you have, the longer it will take, but it's generally a nice and quick experience. To add a bit more value to this video, I thought it would be a good idea to show the WordPress method as well. I briefly spoke about this in the intro, but for the beginners or small shop owners who would like to delete more than 20 products at a time, I thought it would be a good idea to cover this as well. I will stress again that if you have a good hosting provider, that 100 products at a time is possible. Even more products are possible in many cases, but 100 products at a time was the safest number I've ever reached. 
With bad hosting, I can assure you 50 will most likely be the maximum. A bit off topic, please always make sure that you choose good hosting providers. I'm not covering hosting here, so I won't be naming any, but ask me in the description and I'll gladly share some great ones, and ones in my experience you should stay away from. I've built websites from all over the world, so I have experience with most of them and can recommend a good one in your country. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Okay, so from your dashboard, we'll just go to products, select all products. The default is normally set to 20 products per page. And of course, we can simply select all the products, select bulk actions, and we can move them to bin and click apply. But of course, this will be the default method. Now to increase the amount of products on this page, we'll simply go to screen options at the top and we can then increase the number of items on this page. Since I only have 31 items in my shop, I'll just simply select 31. As mentioned before, you can add any amount of products you would like to have displayed on this page here. Remember, you can add 50, you can add it to 100. I would recommend not going over 100. Um, and if you do go to 100, you can just lighten the load a little bit by selecting screen options again and making sure there's only the necessary boxes checked. So you'll take out date, you can take out featured, you can take out tags, categories, price, stock, and even the image. What this means is that if you are pushing it to 100, that you're at least just lightening the load for the page. And of course, we can now just select all and move to bin and apply. That's it for this tutorial. There's a lot of do's and don'ts when it comes to e-commerce stores. I've covered the necessary as brief as I could for this video and I really hope you find great value in it. In some cases, the database method may give you an error or even break your site. And this was my reason for at least giving a quick overview on backing up your database before attempting this method. So please take care and make sure that you have a backup before doing this. Like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.